Throughout the United Kingdom, women's prisons are run as mixed sex facilities because male prisoners who identify as transgender are housed in the female estate alongside women. The Ministry of Justice says that to keep all these men out of women's prisons would impermissibly deny them their human rights. That's right, men, including those convicted of the most serious, violent and sexual offences against women, and including those with fully functioning penises, have the human right to be housed with women in prison. What of women Shame. in prison? Shame. Yeah. Shame. Shame. No such right. Throughout the criminal justice system, it is accepted that women in prison are exceptionally vulnerable and traumatised, exhibiting high rates of mental ill health, history of violent and sexual abuse, often since childhood, and shockingly high rates of self-harm and attempted suicide. The female offender strategy mandates a trauma-responsive approach when dealing with these women. I ask you, how is a trauma-responsive approach to force a female offender who has been the victim of rape to share prison accommodation with a man who has been convicted of rape. The prison we are standing outside today, HMP Downview, contains a unit to house some of the most dangerous men who pose the most serious and unmanageable risks to women. In 2019, E-Wing was opened as a unit to house male prisoners with GRCs who present a risk that is too great to be managed in the general population of a women's prison. The MOJ had considered opening a bespoke unit in the male estate, but rejected this because these men have the right to continue to associate with women mm. in prison and must have equality of opportunity compared to women. Unbelievably, the MOJ also said that keeping these men in a women's prison would fulfil the public sector duty of fostering good relations between transgender women and non-transgender <gasps> women. Boo. Yes, that's right. The MOJ cannot even call women women. Bastards. We don't know how many, if any, men are currently housed on E-Win. It is only intended to be a temporary placement. The goal is for these men to be assisted in progressing back to the normal female estate. No. While they are an E-Wing, they can still mix with the women at Downview to access prison facilities. E-Wing, which was also named after Josephine Butler, the Victorian feminist oh. and social reformer, was previously used as a unit for young female offenders. Now this valuable resource can no longer be used at all by women. Housing these men in appropriate prison accommodation is a challenge the male estate must meet, using resources earmarked for the male estate. Yes. But again, women are being disadvantaged in order that the demands of men can be met. This has to end. Yes. Recently, yes. recently, the government rejected a proposal brought before the House of Lords to create specialist, separate transgender units completely away from the female estate. This would have kept all prisoners safe. In rejecting this, the government shows that this is not about prisoner safety. This is about fulfilling the desires of men, which are seen to be more important than the basic needs of women. Women who have no choice in the spaces they use or with whom they share them. Women who, like all women, have the right to single sex provision for reasons of dignity, privacy and safety. The Ministry of Justice claims that this policy is working well, but that's not what women in prison say. Women in prison report sexualised and threatening behaviour. Women in prison report instances of grooming, exhibitionism and assault. They report feeling fear and being unsupported by prison staff who are reluctant to act on their complaints. Women are told their concerns are transphobic. Mm. Or women are instructed that they may not use language to accurately refer to the sex of these men because this is misgendering and bullying. <clears throat> this policy must end. No man, no matter how he identifies, should ever be housed in a women's prison. No males in female jails. Keep, Keep prison, prison sex. sex. Thank you. Thank you.